guys, well, it's Miner here, and I'm here with Time and Tron. Greetings! You may remember him from his Best of 2013 video. That was two years ago. I know! Where have we been? We've been busy, but we're back. We're avenged. And what are we reviewing this time, Time and Tron? Combiner Wars! Yes, Combiner Wars! And what better way to start this off with? Generations Combiner Wars, Voyager Class Cyclonus! Indeed. Isn't that a mouthful? That is a bit of a mouthful. So, to start with a nice look at the box, Time and Tron. What can you make up from the front of the box? Uh, well, there seems to be some good artwork of Cyclonus. Oh, he's got a very nice artwork. He looks yeah. like he's banging his lip. What's he banging his lip from? He's just frustrated. Yes, and I just knocked the flapping camera. <laughs> Don't knock the camera. Okay, there he is. Look, he's greeting his lip like... Mm. Maybe he's frustrated with something. Maybe he's frustrated with just a remote. Yeah, it's probably it. He wanted a brand new figure. He's just been a remote with a silver ball. Okay, anything you want to add out the front of the box? No, the front of the box is easy. There's okay. a window. There's a, yeah, there's a window where the figure used to be, but he's not there anymore because he's been reviewed. Okay, now turn to this side. We've got Galvatronus. Yeah. Stu also, cool name, by the way. Based on Megatronus. Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, there he is. And there's some unwilling robots. Is it just me, or his, is his spider sense tingling? I think it's tingling, but he's about to be killed. Yeah, he's about to be killed in a brutal way. Because this is Galvatron. He has no time for such petty bots. Yeah. You know, on the other side. Oop. No, we have nothing. We have nothing on this side. Yeah. Except for an Autobot symbol. Boof, Autobot symbol. As warnings. Barcode. In many languages. Yeah, Maybe it means the UK will get them. Doubtful. And finally, we're to the back of the box. You've got schematics you're combining with. Airy, Skydive, it is, Breakdown, that's it. Unfortunately, we can't combine it with Airy the Breakdown, because we don't have them. Yeah, we skipped Wave 2. Well, we didn't skip, we didn't get them. Yeah, we'll get them eventually. So, it is, there's the turret. It says, here's Mind Control. What is he, Mind Wipe? I know. Well, that's kind of cool, combining with any robot he wants. I know. Just think of the uh, combinations you could have. Yeah, he has all sorts of flavor. Yeah, TSC, Botcon, whatever. Do a Mind Wipe version of this guy. Sure. Hang on, so, yeah, it is. It is. There's his robot mode, there's so, his vehicle mode. So it's only 16 steps? 16 steps! Shall we count the steps to see if it's correct? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> okay, now that's... You've, you don't know a box, by. Box. Here's the meat of the thing, and it always oh, is he a beauty. Oh, by the way, the purple is a lot darker than it's showing up on camera, is it not? It is indeed. So here he is in it. What do you call it? Spaceship, jet, cruiser? Space fighter? It is in a space fighter mode. It's very nice. He's clearly a remote of Silverbolt. A big remote, a heavy remote. A heavy remote, yep. New nose cone, new wings, new everything. Don't think anything's the same. So, just give you a quick. He's got landing gear. Which retracts. Yay. E. And now watch me be an idiot and can't get it out. There you go. Okay. He's got. The, I've done pop something loose. Here we have. It is from the side. Right. So, what do you give this vehicle mode for awesomeness? It's pretty awesome. But he's got a robot on the bottom. Yep. Visible robot. It looks like he's in a bit of a stroppy arm pose there, isn't it? <coughs> yep. Okay, now for comparisons. Yes. First up, we'll show him with a deluxe figure. So let's bring in our Lord and Saviour. Alpha oh, but bravo! Oh. Hey, Baskin is awesomeness. He should get his own review. He will get his own review. Yeah, definitely. So, but we're not here to talk about Alpha Bravo. No. So here he is. He's really? bigger. If he wasn't bigger than it, I would be feel ripped off because I paid 30 quid for this guy. Indeed. Here we are from side by side. Yes. Next up, we'll bring in Optimus Prime from also from Combiner Wars. He'll get his own review at some point, but why do I keep adding that? Here you go. Truck, jet. So that should technically be bigger, but this is how for when do they do good scale? But... So that's screw scale, as long as the kit figure's cool. Yeah. He doesn't roll, unfortunately. He rolls lovely. And now, fa the final comparison will be... Silverbolt. Yeah. Now Just... you can definitely see the differences. Yeah, indeed. The front of a, the fuselage of Silverbolt's now the nose cone of Cyclonus' jet mode. His wings are now changed. Like this. Yep, yeah, it's curved up. He's got 
The tail fin's different. Everything's yeah, just... He hasn't got a tail fin. He's got uh, these. Well, I meant those bits. He's got these. Uh, with it. Yep, Silbot doesn't have those. Just let me look at both of them on the side. See the differences. Indeed. Alright, so. Now, shall we get down to transformation? I think we should. Alright, that's. I'll okay. leave that to you. I don't see, yeah. You just get the comparisons done. Okay, so. To start this transformation, now what's the best way? Okay, take the. Vince, move them down. Take these little bits. Yeah, I know parts forming. Boo hoo. Worst toy ever! Yeah. Yeah, so start us, take the wings and untie them. But just bring them up all the way for now. Now, then you take the arms, you bring them up on lovely ratchet joints. Next, this ratchet. bit could be a pain. Hmm. You got untab the wings, which of course it's a fire, so you got to get your nail behind here and push, which isn't working. He's, yeah, give me a tip that doesn't work. There you go, me. He's different, no, different so what is these tabbing really securing? Now you fold the legs out and fold them down. Then you take the, get your nail on the heel, which I suddenly cut my nails earlier so I can't do it. Try using my thumb. Yeah, here you go. Fold out the foot. Then flip up the heel, which again it's fighting me, but you just push your finger up here. And take this panel and close it. And then rotate the leg. Same on the other side, straighten the leg. And then get the foot out, again, and again it's fighting me. Stop it. Okay. Do you hear when toys fight back? Oh yeah. They have to flip out the heel. When a toy bites back against me, I lose. Okay. We're going to take the arm, bring around those fantastic ratchet in. Indeed. Then you take the nose comb, and this is quite tight, so untap it. Flip the landing gear. And you'll see a little post here, and a tab there. Bring it all the way down and tap it into place. And then you take the wings and close them in and they'll tap into place. And now the head reveal is different from silver ball. You've got to get your, it's, it's down here and I'm sorry, I'm going to try and get, try and get some camera. Okay, get his arm away so I can get a better grip. Just, hang on, if I move, maybe if I open the chest I can do, do something like that. Yeah, open, that's a note. Okay, head stuck. Look. Oh, look. Come, on. Come on! What's wrong with you today? Rodimus Primer versus Heads. Cyclonus's head. Who will win? What am I doing wrong here? It's, it probably comes to Scott's sweaty hands, it's hot. Ah, there you go, got it. Ha! Who's winning now, Tyrant Swan? And then rotate the head. That would be you! And then Hold you, on! Then you take these bits and put them on the arms. So, here you go, but this is the official transformation, but I think he looks a bit too skinny, so bring the wings out of it. Doesn't that look better? That looks better. Alright, so here he is in robot mode. Yeah. Very nice robot mode. He looks very good. He's got a start, so start articulation? Let's do the articulation, yeah. Okay, for start, head on a swivel. He can go full exercise. Yeah. That's it out here. Oh, lovely ratchet. Oh, yeah, you got me that right. Look at that. And that's going to become his hip joints in Kabaimo, which has got these strong hips. Spoilers. Bends on the elbow. Yes, I do spoils in my review. Leg joints, you get a softer ratchet, but still a good ratchet. Bend at the knee. So you can, with these big wings, you can't really get many poses. You can make him kneeling down. Nope, okay, he doesn't want to stand up. Uh, but if you, if you bring his foot back. No, he's yeah, not going to fall over. He's going to fall over, so. Just uh, and he's got a and he's a foot pivot. Okay. And now, okay. And now let's go talk about oh, accessories. Which oh, something something I've got to do before we did the transformation. Oh no! Here we have his collector's card. Yes, let me and, zoom in. And just zoom in on that times one. And now I'll let it focus. Focus, focus, time you. Uh, there we go, I think. Wait, no. Sorry, Tyrant, someone's having camera trouble. I know. That's going to be fine as camera. Move it back. Uh, it's not much. Uh, not much to show, it's just basically showing you in a cool pose with a shield and nightstick. 
Yeah. So there you go. Any, well, I don't know if you actually collect these. I just put them in a pile in my room. Alright, do that. Now let's go on to accessories. Now this is where I get I got a bit annoyed. He comes with a completely unpainted version of Silverbolt's gun. It's painted but grey. But grey, yeah, grey. Very dull, dull colour. Can you call grey a colour? Grey is a colour. So here, here it is. What we should have done was painted the barrel orange, because that way it would look decent in combined mode. Yeah, look like it's fusion cannon of Galvatron. Oh, indeed. They could have even given him a nightstick. Or, I mean, Optimus Prime. He and the Mo Master share a mode, but he's got different weapons. Why is he being used? Oh, that's why he's biting the lit his lip in the art. It must be. See, so look at that. Why didn't you give me a good weapon? <laughs> Indeed. Okay. okay, so, well, but we need to see him... Um, okay, also, before that, he's got... These can be used as melee weapons. If we're going to yes. be like daggers, you might as well... Daggers, for me, you hold them underarm. Full stabbing! And slicing goodness. No, yeah, as in goodness as in slicing the good autobots. Just stabbing things. There you go. Which I think... So not too bad, but kind of wish he came with a sword. Sadly, I don't have any swords, so he's going to make do with them. Okay, so what do you think of that little touch? Yeah, it's a nice little touch. Gives you something to do. Okay, yep. Yeah, I'm leaving this one in his hand because I'm going to show you the... Yeah, he's looking at me. Pull up! Pull up! Yes. He's okay. ready for a fight with anything. Don't fall over. Now you take now you take the gun and you just pull it and it separates. And you, you take this one and put it in his, his hand. Okay. And then this can, you can hold in his hand, but I would say, as it's meant to be some sort of shield, you put it in his arm. Which, do you think that looks stupid? Because I do. I think it was kind of cool. Kind of cool, but it just doesn't suit him. Just Needs a better weapon, though. Needed a better weapon, yeah. Third party, make it happen. Okay, so. Uh, but, fortunately for me... Yo, you could use it in, Oh, you could use this! Nightstick from the Universe Cyclonus. I said I have Universe Cyclonus to compare him to right now because he's in the box somewhere, but I just found Nightstick in a different box. Yeah, I just put put things away separately from each other. That's great when you're trying to find something. Yep, so here we go. Here he's on a nice... Now that looks a bit better, but he's, mm -hmm. he's a bit loose in his hands, so if I turn him... Oh, he's... Oh, look, he's going to make a liar out of me! Right, he holds so, it pretty well then. Yeah, it holds it very well, so that but of course he he doesn't come with a nightstick, so I'll just put him off to the side and screw him with his regular gun. Alright, now for the comparison. Comparison time. We'll start with the deluxe. Here we have. Drug strip! Who's bleeding from his eyes? Indeed. That proves how metal he is. So, yeah, he's taller than the Dragster, which is good, because like I said in the video, if he was smaller than the Deluxe, I would feel ripped off. Yes. Look at the red. They're both really, really to kill. Okay, next comparison is with up Mr. Optimus. Here he is. Optimus is taller, but he should be. Optimus, stand up straight. Optimus has too much energy on. Yep, he's actually, Optimus is quite a fair bit taller. He's bulky. Chunky. He's getting his own review at some point. He's a truck monkey. Chunky. No, that's something else. So, okay, and now finally... The one they all want to see. Him and Silver Bolt. Don't drop him. I swear to myself. Yeah, look. See that? Exactly. Same weapons. But everything else is different. Yeah. Uh, except for maybe the knees. Different head. And the legs. And the legs, but chest, uh, the chest, pa yeah. Yes. Several side panels on the legs, side of course. Side panels on the legs, different. The chest plates are definitely, yep, see, different. Different. Yep, so, go. Kind of wish he had a board joint, but he doesn't. But I can use the hinge to make him look up a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, but that makes it look that, kind that of weird. That makes it look like he's, he's, he's trying to hide. It's like, close does not hide. Okay, and now let's. And if you guys want to, want to talk about first, or shall we go straight to combination? How about articulation? Have we not already done that? Oh, did we? Oh, yes, we did. Sorry. Yeah, I think we've already done the articulation. Well, that, let's that go is where Tyrant Tron start. Stop My with. brain's not been working from the start of this video. That's why you were better off just behind the camera. Okay, so, to give a combined mode, 
You take the guns off his hands. And, and pull off to the side because because yeah, I don't like this weapon. Now, for starters, you take the head, you rotate it. You take this da the dagger, put it back in his arm. And watch me drop it. Okay, just plug that back into the slot on his arm. Okay. Now, make him reach for the reach for the sky. Next time you move the shoulder, you move it back and see if I have to leave him flat. You go, take the hands, and you fold the fist back. And next, time to do a bit of gymnastics, Cyclonus. Do a handstand. Now, take the feet, pull in the heels. Fold out the leg panels for a bit. Like into, now, this part of transformation, you need to just basically get into I was vehicle mode. So fold in the feet, rotate here, but bend at the same time, otherwise it's not gonna work. And then you tab it into place, which can be a pain, like it's decided to be right now. Did that, did that tab into place? Just check. Yeah, that's fine. Same on the other side. Bend, rotate. Got to do it in, like, in a simultaneous action, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, yeah, just tab this into place. Yeah, there you go. And now you grab him by his crotch. Oomph. And put time until something immature. You take it, you fold it out. Bringing it up, we bring this up, and there's a little. Before I show you, there's a not little dip it here, a port there, and they're gonna. It's gonna tab into there. You did that go in? Now it has. Now you take this little the Decepticon symbols on Sakas' his chest. Show we have some nice red. Bring these panels in. Gotta do this one. Do it. Try to do it. Sound taste like a scissor action. He says, and it doesn't cooperate. Here you go, and now, with the power of mind control, aerial bots comb and drag strip combine with me. Don't pass me all at once. Sorry. Okay, so here we have the legs, and they do the standard comp power of uh, airport, which is, I can't, as I'm doing it from behind, I'm not exactly seeing it. Here we go. Okay, now for, you take these panels, which are very tight. I'm not on screen. We'll get, we'll get you, you're a cameraman as well, so you do that. That's done. Okay, here's a drag strip who's going on this side, it looks like. And something interesting about this this connection port is actually a lot tighter than the others. Maybe it's because Firefly's got a thicker port. So, here we have Galvatronus. And does he not look badass? He looks very badass. He doesn't care who he combines with. Just fold up the wings a little bit, give him a bit of a cape sort of thing. I think it, cool. He looks very cool. Really wish he had some like sweeps to combine with. That would have been very, very cool. Botcon, uh, anyone know Botcon don't do their own molds, they do repaints. Okay, let's show the comparison. Uh, this, this moves nicely. Bends at the elbow. Uh, he's got the ratchet hips. Lovely ratchet. I love that ratchet, yep. And um, bring it out, you can. Like, so you can get like a. a pose like that. Indeed. And of course, he can hold his gut. And something I would like to point out is what? you're not using the correct knee joint. Oh, oops. <laughs> Thank you, Time and Swan. Yeah. Need joint is the connector port. Now that is correct, but we could give him a little extra another. Uh... Give him an extra bend, but who, who, who do you know about uh, two different knees? Galvatron does. Galvatron does. Galvatron knees. can have as many knees as he wants. Because he's Galvatron. So yeah, here's a big gas combined, big combined gun. And so I can't see. Here we go. Need a hand with that? No, I'm fine. Here, here you go. There he is, wielding his cannon. Man, I can just paint out of him to myself by not very good at painting. So here he is in all his glory. Glorious glory. Now for one, now let's just bring in Optimus and Silverbolt for comparison. No! Yep, yep. Yes. He's a lot bigger. 
So, now that's the uh, right note. And anything else you would like to add, time and Tron? He just looks epic. Yes, he's epic. Now, would you, do you think he's better than the Deluxe Cyclones? Don't know. I would say he looks good in combined mode. If you want a genuine Cyclonus, you might as well get the, the Deluxe from the Universe Classics line. But yeah. him, if he's very good, he adds some more play for your combiners. The torso you get can have as many limbs. So, yeah. and that is an epic head sculpt. Oh yes, let's get a nice close up on that head sculpt. As soon as I remember what zoom in is. He's, for he's forgotten how to operate the camera, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, focus, damn it! Do you would like? Would you like me to move him in? Uh, perhaps. Come on, focus. Maybe we should zoom in a bit more. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, there we go. There you go. Just look at that lovely head, head sculpt. Oh, and all that nice detail on his body. I know, he's got the... Just screams Galvatron. He does, he's got the... Oops. He's got the nice red stomach crater windows. He's got the nice peck chest that Galvatron has. That red hexagon thing on his stomach. That's what I just mentioned. Indeed. So the more he, red near the top. Yeah, he screams Galvatron. Do you, we, we have no more comparisons to show? I'm afraid not. We cut us from these two to a torso mode, but what will be the point if they don't have any limbs? I don't know. So, I think that concludes our review, does it not? It does indeed. I hope you enjoyed it, because this is going to be the review fashion I do from now on. It's going to be me and Tyrant, so instead of just me. And we've got the rest of Wave 3 coming soon. So, yes, we're spoiled for the surprise of an unboxing video when it gets here. Yes. So we'll do, the, we'll, do the, we'll do an unboxing when it arrives anyway, and then we'll review them, won't we? We will. So, thank you for watching. Indeed, thank you very much. But you will come by with me. Give me back my friends. No. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.